Hello Fratolowers and welcome back to Mr. Renfret while plays Minecraft and you join me here once again in the fort and in today's episode we're going to be building the last home in the fort. I've just got a little template laid out and depending on how long that takes if we get a bit of time then potentially I might look into doing something with this area as well and also just run around the fort and wrap anything up that I feel needs tweaking a little bit or anything along those lines and then at that point the entire fort will be finished and then all we've got to do is populate it with animals and villagers and I've also got a couple of things to do underground as well a couple of rooms still to add to the base down there yet which I want to do before we head into 1.7 so yeah it's all really coming together now guys I'm really liking the fort so far um, it's definitely these two homes suit this fort down to the ground Got a, that nice fountain there and everything else, so it's all coming together. So, let's get started without further ado on this house. Now, this house is going to be a bit smaller than all the others, and I kind of mapped this out a little bit in my head so that I know a little bit more about what I'm doing than I did in the last episode, because last episode we spent probably a bit too long kind of thinking out what we wanted to do. So, this episode I am going to go with a a bit of a different style rather than it being as raw as last episode we will kind of have a game plan which we can then stick to so yeah um, let's just kind of figure this out here ah that'll be fine um, probably yeah I think that that was it um, should be yeah, that, that should be it. Uh, at the front here, we're going to have, obviously, the door right there. And we're going to have this going on. And we're going to have a nice big window in that area. And we'll probably do the same pattern over here as what we did. Put that in. I apologize for the frame rate issues. I know what the frame rate issue is now. It's the map downstairs but that will be fixed very very soon so I'm not going to worry about it too much right now back here we're just going to have a I think a straight solid wall and that should do the job quite nicely I'll we'll get a, a big window in there perhaps and this side I'm also going to have a straight wall as well so we'll just go up a little bit with the logs and we'll fill this in get rid of that torch fill this in as well and now we'll just go around and add this in I could always go get more cobblestone if I need it and I'm probably going to need it before we're done so let's get this kind of figured out here oops put that there and that seems to be pretty much everything that I want to do on this first floor um, now I do want to get funky with logs a little bit here so let me get my dirt out we'll just build a, a dirt staircase up to the top and we're going to run around here with my logs all the way around like so I, I guess we'll miss those out for the time being kind of breaks it up a little bit and right here is where the floor will eventually go so we can kind of get this in while we're working get that in we are going to put a staircase on that far wall but for the moment I'm just filling it all in there we are and we'll probably want to put a floor in down here as well so let's go ahead and do that there we go he's exposing some of the stuff down there but that will get filled in Okay, we can ignore that. There's a lot of wiring down here now for the daylight detector and so forth to make all of that stuff work, so just got to keep that in mind while we're working near the ground here. We don't want to break anything. I do have more wood out here. I'm probably going to grab the crafting bench now and those and those and window panes possibly yeah we'll make some more as well so let's head in here 
get that crafting table down. Start putting some windows in. I guess I should probably <laughs> finish the floor first. I'll get a stack of planks going. There we go. And that'll make putting the windows in a lot easier. So we can kind of run around. Good, I didn't want to place any there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Uh, obviously this wall is a wall because you can't really see anything. I think that you actually need to have a proper view if you're going to do something like that. So let me build this up. Got a little bit of room right here. This actually should be 8x8. Eight eight. 3, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, by 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ooh, this is actually 9. I was trying to go for an 8x8 eight eight, but we've ended up by with an 8x9. So. It's not the end of the world though. Uh, so we've got, yeah, that'll be plenty for now. And I'm gonna get a window going in the uh, top center here. Just gonna get some more wood going. And we'll fill that in like so and break that. So we've got a nice little window going right there. We're going to want to line the whole thing pretty much with this, unless there is already a wooden beam. So, like f here, for example, we are going to want to put some wood. So we'll go up, I think it's four blocks. I'll pick that one up later. So we'll go four and four. There we are. I am out of cobblestone, so I'm going to have to go grab some more of that too. That's fine, we can take that down. Do I have any more cobblestone in here? I do not. So I'm going to have to go run and get some more of that. And I think that, yeah, there is a couple of bits around here, but three is hardly significant. So we're going to have to look into that. But let's get some lighting up in here before we go and do that. And Put some up here for the, for the time being. We can do that. Hmm. Mm hmm. Probably going to have to alter that a little bit, but I'm going to need to go and get some more cobblestone. So let's go ahead and do that. My nearest supply of cobblestone is unfortunately in the storage room. So we're going to have to go and grab some. So let's head down here around the corner and over to the storage room. Yeah, it's that map that's causing the uh, the frames per second issue because they refresh I think every game tick whereas in 1.7 it was changed so that they just refresh upon login. So that's the problem there. So I apologize if it's a bit jerkier than normal but that'll go away pretty soon. I'm not gonna take the whole map down and then try and put it back together again when it's just lowering me down only when I look at it so I'm not gonna worry too much about that so that's looking pretty good um, though I don't know if that's exactly how I wanted it seems a little weird with the window panes kinda tucked in I would think I want to do that instead kinda make it wider but then that would kind of mess with the whole build so I'll probably leave it uh, it doesn't look too terrible. I can always tweak it off camera if I want to. That's not a huge problem, but I'm not going to do it on camera for the moment. I'm just going to get the basic structure together, and then I'll probably tweak it off camera, as I do normally, and then at that point I will probably bring you guys back in, and we will work on the next part. And I think I'm actually going to do that right now, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, so I'm back and I've worked on this a little bit. Not done too much since you last saw me. I just kind of moved the windows a little bit, made them look a little nicer I think. And I added the windows up on the second floor, I put this fence around here. But nothing too much more than that. I've added some stairs back here. Got some storage going and moved the chest inside, that kind of thing got some room now so the next step is obviously going to be putting on the roof we're going to add a chimney and also we're going to add some decoration so I guess we should start 
on the ground floor and probably add some decoration now. I'm going to add carrots here because we've already got wheat and potatoes, so it makes sense to use some carrots, I think. So, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Some carrots in here. There we are, get some bone meal on them. Ah, that one's, <laughs> that one's not going to have as much bone meal, but that's fine. And back here, we're actually going to have an animal pen again. We are going to have, I think, pigs, being as we've got... Uh, carrots down there it would make sense to keep pigs in here so that also means we're going to want a fence gate right there as well so we can go ahead and put a fence gate in there later uh, we are going to need to get some glowstone of course and get rid of the torches that are on the ground oops well I have my silk touch on me now so it's not too much of a problem so why don't we just put one in here take that torch out we're going to want to put one sort of back in this area so that we can take this one down. And I think that the lamp should spread enough light so that there is not any monsters spawning back there. We are going to want one sort of out front. So we've got that area covered. And that lamp should give me enough light around the door area. So all we've got left now is this back portion. And I'm going to light that up probably when it gets dark so that I know really where things need to be lit so we'll just take the torches out of here for now and let's work on the chimney so the chimney is going to start out five wide I think or is it going to go to four now I'm, I'm going to have to take that window out <laughs> I just realized in my design it was five wide but this only looks to be four but that's okay that's not a problem uh, probably works out better in fact um, for this so we're going to put some stairs on that. So let's go ahead and I do have my stone brick steps on me. So we can go ahead and get our steps on here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm not going to worry about the window for the moment. I'm going to deal with that a little later. So let's go up maybe three. And I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm not finished with this yet, but that's good enough for the moment to kind of get the chimney going. So at that point I am gonna take out the window. So I'm gonna need my silk touch pick. Oops. Did not intend to do that, so we'll put that back and we will get some cobblestone out. There we are. So we've got some windows still. And then in here what we should have is yeah an area to put our furnaces. So We'll get some of those crafted up. We want four furnaces. So let's just make those. There we are. Oops. And we can put those in. So we've got some furnaces going. Got a chest in there. We've got a crafting table. We do still need to put a bed upstairs, but we can take care of that in a moment. So now I think we are pretty much done as far as... Uh, design goes I'm gonna make up some green carpet though so let me just make 10 of these green I'm gonna go with the the dark green blend and we'll make 15 carpets let's get this in here and we've got seven for upstairs oops ah that's fine can't do too much really as far as carpets go in here so now let's make ourselves the bed let's do that get that in place probably going to make some paintings and things uh, a little bit later on there we go got a bed going so i think that's pretty much everything as far as interior goes we've kind of got this sort of packed out a little now and it doesn't look so empty anymore which was what i wanted to address so we can put a chest there so that seems to be the interior taken care of so now let's get up on the roof I'm gonna actually do this from the outside and you'll see why in a minute Let me jump up in front of the door up to the top right here and right here we are actually gonna start our stairs now you can see why I uh, built out the front and didn't try and do it from inside and we're just going to kind of go round here. Where the chimney is, we'll just meet up with that. Get that back. It's kind of tricky to place these in the right position, honestly. 
There we are. So we've got that kind of going on now. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should build a ladder up. That might be a pretty good idea. I do have ladders in that chest in here. There we are. Ladders. So let me get a dirt staircase. Well, dirt pillar, I guess. Up here. There we are. Taking full advantage of my scroll wheel in this occasion. <laughs> there we are. So we're up to the top. And obviously I can walk the rest of the way. We will get our stairs back out. Not sure what happened there or as to how I fell off. I we'll have to kind of go out a little bit. The roof is going to be pretty tricky to actually do. And I may time lapse this part because it can get pretty boring just watching me build a roof. So I think we'll probably time lapse this, uh, guys. So I'll catch you on the flip side of the time lapse. Oh, that's that's not good. I didn't really intend that, but I guess it will be okay. It's not too terrible. So, yeah, to the <laughs> This is going to be <laughs> this is going to be a long time lapse. Uh to the time lapse. <laughs> Okay, so there's the roof finished. Now I think the next step will be to kind of get this finished, uh, the, the chimney stack up here. Do want to give it a little bit of decoration before before we're totally done with it, so let's see what we can do here. Now this is going to be pretty tricky to do without dirt, so let me get some dirt. Can I place that there? I can place it there. Uh, slab is not going to work on this occasion, so we're going to need to do something a little bit like that. And we'll knock that out. Oops. Now I don't know if monsters will actually spawn on upside down stairs or not. Um, so, to totally prevent it, I'm going to put some stone brick slabs on it then I know they definitely can't spawn and it doesn't look too bad either so yeah that's this roof done uh, no monsters will spawn up here because it's all stairs and slabs so we I guess we can take this thing down now a uh, very easy way of doing that is just to stand at the top and break it until we get to the bottom I just pick that stone brick up stone brick slab so now we just need to make a, a pair of fence gates and I think that that will be pretty much it for this house. So I think I'm going to call it an end after we built that and we'll look at uh, finishing the fort probably next episode I think. I do want to get this finished uh, next episode but um, I think that we've got enough here for, wait, fence gates not fences. I think we've got enough for an episode here so... 
let's just do this and we'll take a uh, look back at it so we've got that going on and we want one near the front and I'm also going to have to put a pathway in as well get that one out front there seems pretty dim right there but I think it will be fine there is a lamp right there so that's the third house to the fret fort and that's all the houses so we've got a a nice little quaint one over there we've got a sandstone themed one over here and we've got Hal's house which is pine wood and stone bricks over there so I'm pretty happy with that in all honesty uh, I don't think I could have done too much more with it so if you did notice in the time lapse I also put some glowstone in there so I think next episode we will focus on actually wrapping up the fort as a whole and then we will work on the remaining two projects underground so that will be the library and the cocoa bean farm and at that point we will be pretty much done I'm really liking how this turned out I like that house it's just something that I came up with on my own uh, all three of these houses actually well technically not that one but these two I came up with on my own that one I got the basic idea for on my own but Hal helped me out with it so that's why it's Hal's house um, but the other two I came up with completely on my own so I'm pretty proud of that because I'm not the best builder in the world that's for sure so that's going to be just about it from me today guys I hope that you've enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode so until then see you later and have a good day